Hey guys, my name's Kroonj, welcome to 10 different Minecraft redstone inventions. Now, over the past couple months, I've been making these cool little redstone inventions and devices, and I decided to showcase them all in this one video. So I'm going to be briefly showing you how they work and sort of explaining them, uh, but for each of these different inventions, I did a full video on them. So if you want a full video and a more in-depth explanation, and uh, some of these inventions I even did a full tutorial on. So if you want that, there'll be links on the screen also down in the description. Now I would also like to point out that this is the third episode of 10 Minecraft Redstone Inventions. So if you want to check out uh, the previous two, they will also be on the screen and down in the description. There also is a world download for this world if you want to download the world and see how these inventions work for yourself. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so this first redstone creation is a very cool aesthetic addition to anyone's base. This guy I'm calling the Rainbow Armor Stand Display, and I think it just looks so cool. It goes through all the different colors of the rainbow, and this really cool hallway display case sort of thing. The redstone behind this machine is pretty easy to understand. All it is is a number of repeaters and different timing delays. So over here, we have our little clock going. This is just keeping the redstone signal going around. And um, up here, this is where the different timings are. So we have a number of slime blocks, and we just have each slime block set on one more tick of delay than the one in front of it. This gives you the nice little wave effect and the armor stand sort of bounce up in a wave and we sort of have the same thing up top here we have another clock and um, this guy is leading into the pistons up here we have another one going along on this side and this all this allows it is for this block to pull away and come back giving the armor stand a little hole to go up and down and it gives you this nice little wave effect from the hallway and I just have it set up with these awesome looking rainbow beacons to the side to give you this sweet little rainbow effect and there is this easy operator board over here you can go ahead flick the machine turn it off it's if it's creating too much lag for you you can go ahead turn it on push the start button again and it starts running right right away so this is the rainbow armor stand let's move on to the next one this next one is pretty easy to understand because it doesn't involve any redstone it's super simple to build and it's a pretty awesome hidden base so if you want something that's simple and still Still efficient and gets the job done well then this is the option for you so it's a secret base entrance if you look around here you know there's nothing really to notice um, but if you actually go up to this corner and you right click then you're gonna hop in a minecart now we're in the minecart we can see into the secret base over here but if we go ahead and push shift and try to hop out well, we're back in this main room. You know, we can't actually enter the secret base, but what you have to do is when you hop in this minecart, you gotta push the button, then hop out, and you're in your secret base. And if you wanna go ahead and leave, all you gotta do is hop in the minecart and hop out without pushing the button, and you're back in the real world. So it's pretty simple to use, really simple to build. All it requires is one button right there and a sticky piston. I did do a much more explanation in how this sort of works. This next device is another super simple redstone invention. It's pretty easy to understand and I'm just in love with this thing because it is so cool. Now, what this thing is, it is a hidden armor stand. So behind this wall, it doesn't look too suspicious other than this button in the bottom right hand corner. Now, if you're building this thing in your own survival base, you're gonna wanna hide this button to some secret switch or some secret way to press it. That way your enemies can't find it. But for this simple tutorial, we're just having it right in the open. Um, but say you want to access your hidden armor well you just got to basically click the button and these blocks fall away your armor stand pops up you're good to go you can go ahead you know take off the armor put it on do whatever you want with it you're all good to go um, but then as soon as your enemies are coming by and you want to hide your armor well you just got to click the button it's gonna drop away and it's gone from all sites your enemies won't be able to find your secret button and you're good to go so Pretty simple to build, all it requires is a number of droppers, hoppers, and um, a few little redstone repeaters. Uh, now I did do a full tutorial on this guy, that will be on the screen if you want to check out how to build this thing. It is pretty awesome, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out because it's so simple and it just requires a little bit of timing and um, a little T flip flop as well. But I really like it, it pops up perfectly, great little animation. You can go ahead, hide this thing away and then whenever you want to call it back up again, poof, it is right there. This thing is so sweet. This next invention is one of the weird ones 
on the list. This is a firework maker. It eases the process of mass producing fireworks. It makes it a whole lot easier. Think of it kind of like a fire making factory. This thing is amazing. It, it makes fireworks like crazy and um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out as well. So I'll show you guys how to operate it real quick. The first step to do is you got to go ahead and pick out your color. So you do this by first picking out your primary color. So I think we're going to go ahead and make maybe a pink and we'll make a pink and you know purple firework that sounds good then you got to go ahead and pick out your secondary colors i think we're gonna have this pink and purple firework fade out to red yeah that sounds good so it'll be pink and purple it'll fade out to red um, then you got to choose how much height it is now it already gives you enough gunpowder to make the lowest height but if you want to add extra height we can go ahead and do that um, then you got to pick your modifier so you pick one of these modifiers we're gonna go ahead and do a star so like a pink star that'll look pretty cool then we got to pick the other modifier we could either do a twinkle or a trail effect I think we'll do a twinkle twinkle little star star and then that's all the steps you got to pick how many you want so you can either choose one 10 or 5 I think we're gonna go ahead and choose 10 then all you got to do is stand right here give it a little time um, as soon as this light turns off you know it's done working all right so it's done working we just got to go ahead and wait for all of our items to be collected there we go and here are our little instructions to craft so first step gunpowder and modifier so uh, we'll go ahead and put in the gunpowder right there. I don't think, yeah, it's just gunpowder like that. Then we got to put in our modifiers, which is our, our main colors. And I think we need our two little modifiers just like so. And we go ahead and get this star-shaped pink, purple, twinkle fire star. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy out. Then we go ahead to step two, which is optional. That's firework star and one die. So firework star. And this is the color that it's fading to. So it's going to fade to red. There we go. We got our, no our new firework star. Then step three, firework star paper and gunpowders so firework star paper and the last two gunpowder and here we go we have our awesome fireworks so eases the process a lot instead of having to look through a million chests you have to do this and the cool thing is now that we have this thing we can just go ahead and select you know another firework we'll do this and we'll do no heights and we can choose you know brown and fade to blue and then run over here push the 20 and boom you got 20 more fireworks just like like that so pretty easy to make different fireworks let's go ahead and shoot off some of these guys see what they look like oh yeah these things are cool moving on this is another super simple redstone invention this is one of the more practical ones for your own survival base now I did a number of these horse swappers this is actually the horse swapper version 3.0 now the other ones before it could store a lot more horses um, but they were super complicated and involved a lot of redstone and were really hard to build so I went ahead and built this super simple very compact version that doesn't really require too much redstone and it's definitely more practical in a sort of survival setting and I really like how this thing turned out so the way to use it you guys can pull this lever over here and you can simply take your horse out of the storage system go ahead ride it around and then when you're ready to put it back in you just got to ride it in and lock it in there so pretty easy to take out the bottom guy but say say you're storing your horse in this machine and your horse is the diamond horse well all you got to do is click this button and they'll get swapped around so the guy on the top is going to go ahead and move over to the middle the guy in the middle is going to move over to the bottom and the guy on the bottom is going to get boosted all the way up to the top so hey here's our diamond horse we can go ahead and take it out for a ride do whatever we want say we want to put him back in the machine well you just got to swap him around just like this and you can keep on swapping them it has a great great animation I really like it and um, it, it definitely will save you a little bit of space and add that awesome little spunk to your base especially if you guys put like a donkey a mule and a horse in here um, well then that will be much more practical because you can have you know your different horses and say you're going to fight with your horse boom you got to switch them around say you gotta you know go with your donkey because you have you need a lot of storage we'll swap them around and you're good to go so this is a pretty cool machine I'm really happy with this one I did a full tutorial on this guy and that will obviously be on the screen and also down in the description 
Anyway, let's move on to the next one. This next one is definitely one of the more impressive ones in terms of complicated redstone behind it. I managed to get this thing super compact and it worked really well. I'm really satisfied with the size I was able to get this thing down to um, because this machine can do a lot and you're gonna be really impressed with how this works. So you may have noticed um, the past invention. It was called the hidden armor stand. Well, I got a recommendation from one of you guys to take that and sort of make a hidden armory so I did just that now you guys can see on this wall there are all these buttons but at the moment they don't do anything they don't do anything at all but um if we go ahead to our super secret button this is just like the hidden um the hidden armor stand so this button you're gonna want to hide it from your enemies in some secret location um, but when we're all by ourselves and our enemies aren't around we can go ahead activate our secret armory and what's gonna happen all these holes come out of the walls and you know a number of armor stands pop up now this design is tileable so you can make it as big or as small as you want this this is a version with six different armor stands, um, which can actually hold 12 armor stands. Yeah, six different armor stand slots, so it can hold 12 armor stands, um, but you can make it as long or as short as you want this to be. So now that we have our armor stands out here, um, this is an armory. So if we're like having armor for an entire army and we want to swap our armor around, well, you just got to click this button and the armor is going to swap. But as soon as you choose the armor you want and your enemies are coming around, you want to hide all your valuable armor. Well, all you got to do is click your super secret button again. The armor will drop away and be hidden from any enemy eyes. And as soon as they're gone and you need your armor back again, click the button. They all pop up and you're good to go. This guy is another super simple survival friendly version of an elevator. I wanted to make a very simple and easy to build three-story elevator so I did just that the redstone behind it is absolutely tiny and it's pretty easy to use as well so let me show you guys how it works it won't take too much to explain this guy um, but basically when you're on the bottom floor all you got to do is stand on the slime blocks go ahead push the button and you'll get launched up to the top floor now that we're up here we can push the button we'll get oh we got to be standing in the middle all right there we go push the button we'll get sent down to the second floor push the button again we'll get sent down to the slime blocks push the button one more time and we're launched up to the top floor so pretty simple to use I really like how this thing turned out because it is so compact like everything in here I try to make some things as teeny tiny as possible and there is another full tutorial um, in the description and on the screen for this guy so if you want to build it on your survival world feel free to do just that it is pretty cool the only downside I would say is um the floors have to be two blocks high so if you if you want to build a bigger house um, this elevator is not going to work and that's just because slime blocks can only launch you so so high and I just wanted to make this thing as easy to build as possible and it's three stories so that is pretty impressive this is an idea I've had for quite some time and I finally made it and I was so happy with it I did a full tutorial on it and I think this thing is just really, really awesome. So picture this, picture this. You're out adventuring and your creeper comes and blows you up. All your stuff's on the ground and you only have five minutes to go and get your stuff back. Well, rather than respawning, having to go through your chest, find, you know, some spare items to go and kill some mobs and stuff, this machine, rather, the second you respawn, it drops you off and it gives you all sorts of armor. It gives you swords. It can give you golden apples. It can give you bows it can really give you anything you want and it really just sets you up to go and fight for your stuff back really great really great for survival and um, really those PvP servers where you got to fight to get all of your valuables back anyway let me give you guys a quick demonstration of this so there are two modes for this machine there's the active mode which is in right now so the second that um, that I sleep in this bed and I respawn at this bed location I'm gonna get thrown into the hole and I'm going to be given the different armor and stuff like that um, but there's there's also the not active mode which this way the bed functions just like a normal bed you can sleep in it and do whatever you want in it now there's also this reset button over here um, which doesn't do anything right now but it will after we use it so let's go ahead and set this to nighttime now if we want to use it just like a normal bed put it in non-active mode and we can go ahead sleep in it and some then when it's morning time you will see that we just spawn like a normal bed there we go so um, now we're gonna go ahead and go out venturing so we're gonna put it in active mode before we leave and we're out venturing and oh no a creeper came and killed us well 
there we go we're dead um but hey the second that we respawn we're thrown in the hole we're given a sword we're given a golden apple we're given all this awesome diamond armor and we're ready to go and get our stuff back so pretty cool pretty cool little invention there you can see the hole whoopsies the hole goes ahead and it closes behind us um but it still is in active mode so we can go ahead push the reset button and now we're good to go so we're ready to fall in again and be given you know some armor to go ahead and get our stuff back so yeah yeah pretty cool design here i i am so happy with this thing man super compact i did a full tutorial on this guy and that will obviously be on the screen also in the description i think this is one of the cooler ones definitely one of the more useful ones um if you were to build something in your survival world this next invention is one of the bigger ones it's definitely not survival friendly um it might be compacted in the future and i may do a tutorial on it um but for now it's pretty crazy and the redstone behind it is a bit wobbly as well this is a hidden minecart entrance now it definitely is unique it uses slime blocks and um i think it looks pretty cool it's definitely fun to use gives you that awesome little james bond feel um now i did do a pretty cool video on this guy where i have a version of it in you know in a normal biome and i show you how you can actually hide this um redstone and i think i think it looks pretty cool when you want to use it in a real world setting uh, but for now we have this sort of bigger version of it let me show you guys how how it works real quick so imagine that we're driving by in our minecart here and we push our little secret button well what's going to happen is we're gonna fall down into our secret base and we're good to go so that happened pretty fast a lot of stuff happened there and so uh, I sort of I broke it down a lot better in my full video on it which will be on the screen and also in the description but as we come back you can see the slam block launches us up into the air and we get boosted along to head off to our next destination now pretend we didn't know the location of this secret button well we would pass by this hidden minecart entrance like nothing even happened we wouldn't even know about it um, but if we did find out where this secret button was and we knew about the secret base well as we're driving by you just got to go ahead give it a push and the piston pops up pulls the rail away a hole opens up and um, the piston pushes the rail back just like nothing happened nobody will even know that you disappeared from the earth and then as you're exiting the same thing happens except this time the slime block fires pushes you up and then as the rail gets pushed back into place it gives you a nice little boost to head off this last invention is on the more impractical side but it is a lot of fun to use this is a giant trampoline in minecraft it uses a lot of different slime blocks all with different pistons and different timings and um, really how this thing works is i have all the pistons firing at the same exact time um that way none of the slime blocks really touch each other i did a more in-depth video explaining how this sort of works and that will be on the screen anywho let me show you guys this thing in action so to get started all you got to do is sort of walk on it and um every time you know you sort of down here all you have to do is jump up to this top layer and then the machine automatically gets started now it's using trip wires and um, string to sort of detect when I'm falling on it and you can the cool thing about this trampoline is no matter what block you land on sometimes it glitches out like that I don't know why it doesn't work all the time it's a little annoying but hey this is Minecraft it can't be it can't be perfect um, but the cool thing about this is theoretically sometimes it doesn't work but theoretically you should be able to land on every oh man this is really not working now is it um, but you should be able to land on every slime block and always have a bounce so even on these little gaps in between you can see they still work like that so even if you fall in between all the slime blocks it still works but I do hope you guys enjoy these 10 different Minecraft inventions the past couple months have been a lot of fun and we've made a lot of cool things a lot of cool little little gadgets to improve your base and also little useful things for survival Minecraft so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video um, as 
as throughout the entire video, there will be links on the screen right now to everything that you've seen. So if you want to have a more in-depth explanation or a tutorial for anything, um, they'll all be on the screen right now and you can go ahead and check them out. If you enjoyed this video and you liked it, please give me a rating. It really helps me out. And um, I think I think these things are absolutely amazing. Like there's there's a lot of effort that I put into building each of these inventions. I would like to remind you guys that there's a world download link down in the description where you can go and check out all of these inventions, download this world, and this one world, they're all in here. And um, I also want to tell you guys that this is the third installment of 10 Minecraft inventions. I did two of these before, each of those will also be on the screen right now. Um, so if you want to check out the other episodes of 10 Minecraft inventions that will be on the screen right now as well They're very similar to this video. So if you enjoyed this one, you will definitely like those There's even crazier redstone inventions. There's a bunch of automatic farms and some cool little stuff like that So they'll be on there. Hopefully we can get even more episodes of these out um, Throughout the year as you guys continue to support them because they've just been so much fun to produce man I absolutely love making little fun redstone devices and stuff like that. So other than that, my name's Crew. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.